I cannot grasp the rules to this problem. Specifically, 27 raised to the power of 3 over 2. On the answer key, it cubes 27 and multiplies the 3 by 3. And I know it gets confusing, right? So let me work this out for you. We have 9 to the 3 over 4 times 3 to the 7 over 2 over 27 3 over 2 power. The key for this right here is that notice the basis 9, 3, and 27. They are all powers of 3. So that's the first thing that we are going to change everything to the same base. For the 9, we know 9 is the same as 3 times 3, which is just 3 squared. So let's change that. So here we will have 3 squared, and then we are going to raise this to that power, 3 over 4. To continue, times, this right here is good because it has a 3 right here already. So 3 raised to the 7 over 2. Over, for the 27 right here, again, we can write that as a power of 3. 27 is the same as 3 times 3 times 3, which will give us 3 to the 3rd power. So I will put 3 to the 3rd power for the 27, and then raised to the 3 over 2 power, like that. So the first thing is we change all the bases to be 3 to the sum power. Next, we will have to use one of the rule of exponent, right here and right here. Notice we have 3 squared and then raised to the 3 over 4 power, and the rule of exponent is the following. When we have a number that say b raised to a power that say m, and then we put this in a parentheses raised to that to the nth power, by the rule of exponent, we can actually just multiply the powers. So we will have b to the m times n, like that. So for this part, the 3 stays the same right here. Let me just write that down. But we will have to work this out. 2 times 3 over 4. So 2 times 3 over 4. Multiplying fractions, make sure um, you can just write it as like 2 over 1 and then just either you multiply across and then multiply this and that and then reduce or you can cross cancel. I'll show you both ways. The first way is you can just do 2 times 3 is 6 over 1 times 4 which is 4. And then reduce this by 2, right? So you get 6 divided by 2 which is 3 and then 4 divided by 2 which is 2. So you can do that or 2 times 3 over 4 2 is the same as 2 over 1, and then you can just cross reduce. 2 goes into 2 one time, 2 goes into 4 two times. You can cross reduce, right? Reduce, and then you multiply. 1 times 3 is 3 over 1 times 2 is 2, just like that. So, this new power is going to be that. That is 3 over 2. And then just continue with the rest. We will multiply this by 3 raised to the 7 over 2 power and then over here we have 3 to the 3rd power in the parentheses and then raised to that 3 over 2 power, right? So we will have to do this again. So let me just erase this real quick and then let's focus on again, multiply the powers. Here we will do this 3 times that 3 over 2. So we can look at the 3 as 3 over 1. Cannot reduce, just multiply 3 times 3, we get 9 over 1 times 2, which is 2. So for the bottom right here, the base is still 3, but the new power is 9 over 2. Whew. I know we have done a lot already, so just kind of calm down, relax a little bit. A lot of fractions, I know, plus the rule of exponents, this is definitely not easy. I will show you a magic trick though. Cool, right? Now, what can we do next? We are multiplying 3 to this power and 3 to that power. Because the bases are the same, what can we do with the exponents? The answer is, we can add them. And yes, that's another rule of exponent, and let me just write it down right here. If we have b raised to the power m, times b 
raised to another power, let's say n. When you are multiplying and they have the same base, we can add the exponents. So this is b raised to the m plus n power. So right here, we will actually have to work out this plus that. So let's see, what is 3 over 2 plus 7 over 2? We are adding fractions. We have to make sure they have the same denominator, but they do, so we are good. To add fractions, just make sure that once they have the same denominator, add the numerators together, you are good. 3 plus 7 is 10 over the same denominator stays. Now we have 10 over 2. 10 divided by 2, we get 5. Right, so this right here is for the new exponent for the top. So I will write this down right here for you. That will be equal to 3 for the base, still the same base, yeah? But the power, this and that, when you add them, we get 5. So we have 3 to the fifth power. And then for the bottom, we didn't do anything, just leave it. We have 3 to the 9 over 2. Now, here's one last step that we will have to do. As you can see, when we multiply b to the m and b to the n, we add the exponent. Right now, we have 3 to the 5th over 3 to the 9 over 2. We're dividing. We will have to subtract the exponents. So, b to the m over, right, when we're dividing, over b to the n, this right here equals b, and you do the top exponent, minus the bottom exponent. So right here, we are focusing on the 5 and also the 9 over 2, subtracted, to figure out the new exponent. So, 5 minus 9 over 2. 5 is the same as 5 over 1. Okay, subtracting fractions, we have to make sure they have the same denominator. This denominator is 1, this denominator is 2. Come here, multiply the top and bottom by 2, so they have the same denominator. Here we will get 2 times 5, or 5 times 2, is 10, over 1 times 2, which is 2, and then minus 9 over 2. When the denominators are the same, we can just work out the top, right? 10 minus 9, and that's just equal to 1. And then the denominator state, which is just uh, 2. So this right here will be equal to we will still have the base 3, but the new power, after we do this minus that, which we did it right here, is 1 over 2. That's a new power. That's it. So, it kind of depends though. If this is the answer on your answer key, then you are done. But it depends, because when you have a fraction for the power, you can also turn that into a radical form. So I just want to make sure that you get that as well. This right here is the same as 3, and then you take the square root for that. So I really don't know which one that you will do for your class, but 1 half power is the same as square root because of the following. This is the last one that I will go over with you. When we have b raised to the m divided by n power, this right here is equal to the n right here is the radical and you have the nth root. So you have the n like this and then you can say b to the m like that. So as we can see right here we have 3 raised to the 1 over 2. This right here is the same as saying put a 3 in the front, I mean in inside. And then the over 2 turns into the second root. And then you have the 1 right here. Yeah, so it's this idea. And then the second root is the same as just the square root. So and then 3 to the first is just the same as 3. So that's why it works. And then let me just make a note. When we see the square root right here, this means we have the, this the second root. Anyway, though, best of luck to you in your algebra class. That's it.